Sri Lanka, a small island country in the Indian subcontinent. The first time I heard about Sri Lanka was from my granny when I was a kid. And all I know about it was the mythological stories about Sita and Ravana. I wish I could roll back the time and tell my granny that Sri Lanka got much more to offer. I wish. I wish I could tell her my story. This is me, Ketaki Narayan. Super excited, happy, little confused, but definitely focused to make my first vlog. So stay with me on this journey. I started my journey from the Haburana village to experience the authentic Sri Lankan culture. And I must say, the time I spent was worth living it. Please excuse me as I am dealing with the action camera for the first time. Dhammika. Dhammika. Yes. Or Unka? Raja and Raju. Raja and Raju. Yes. One is 14 years old, one is 12, 12 years old. Yes. Okay. Being grown up in Kautha in a small city like Akola in India, village life always fascinated me. I find more peace in the farms, nature, food and people over there. We had an amazing bullock car ride to Aburana village with the help of our friend Samira. A farmer friend Nimbika introduced us to two hard-working bulls, Raju and Raja. I was overwhelmed to meet them as they reminded me of Pakriya the bull on which my grandpa used to take me to other side of the river to show farms. We walked to the center of the village where we could see the airy homes with no electricity. We were welcomed by Sunita, one of the ladies from the village, who taught me to cook Sri Lankan roti. After all the hard work in the kitchen, we got to eat fresh, authentic Sri Lankan cuisine, which I can't express in word. You have to visit Sri Lanka and experience it by yourself. Done with the paid puja, now it's time for some workout and build your biceps by rowing the boat. This puffy face because I don't know what to say in my vlog and I figure out somehow. Hi, right now we are at uh, Hiriwaduna Lake and we are going towards the uh, other end of the lake and let's see what we have uh, in the box.
Once we reached at the other end of the lake, I got a chance to ride a tuk-tuk for the first time. Our final stop of the day was the Mineria National Park. We rented 4x4 with a driver which cost us around 40 USD including the National Park tickets. It was an extraordinary experience to witness these many elephants at a closer distance in their natural habitat. My favorite moment was when I saw Mama Elephant feeding her baby. Thank you for watching my first vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please excuse the mistakes. I'll be better next time for sure. I promise. If you want to see more travel content on my blog, please like, share, subscribe and comment what all things you would like to see on my channel. Also don't forget to check out my friend Nevin's channel who helped me to create this content. Link in the description. Stay tuned till next episode.